Hello everyone, this is a, a video just kind of get the process kind of going on how to um, make these type of, uh, I guess, um, zoom it in, uh, zoom it in, zoom it in. This right here is like, the got the inner rings as well as the outer rings. Uh, I, I call it a hybrid because a concentric ring, telescopic, whatever, uh, you can call it a triple pip, a segmented triple pip rattlesnake or floating wafer pin. Um, I was asked about doing a video on how to make these and also how to make another version of it, which is this. Uh, matter of fact, that little brass wafer will come off, as you see off the uh, stainless steel tubing and realign itself and there you go there's another triple pip rattlesnake one piece uh, you know so just different variations in how you want to see these things so I just call it as a um, hybrid and there's other versions that would actually follow suit with the triple pip uh, matter of fact, that is going to be a uh, pin that I'm going to do as a bonus as we get these kind of done. All right. Um, I'll tell you that you're going to need two different types of brass tubing. Uh, three millimeter outer diameter on both. One millimeter inner diameter and two millimeter inner diameter. You are going to also need... Two different types of 304 stainless steel tubing. You'll need three millimeter outer diameter, two millimeter inner diameter, or 1.5, whichever. Both are fine. Uh, let's see. Now you also need a two millimeter by, I okay, guess, so what is that, 1.2, 1.5 millimeter inner diameter. You'll need this as well. Uh, you'll need some sandpaper. Uh, me, I use six or eight hundred grit. It vary that, and also two thousand grit. Um, it just depends on how much of a polish I want to put on it. Um, let's see, I would definitely recommend these little handles here. Uh, that's a M12. Uh, well, actually, it was an M1.2 tap. That's what we'll use the thread or one millimeter inner diameter uh, tubing, which is definitely not that one, but this one right here. Uh, you'll need a 2.1 millimeter drill bit. One of these, or something similar, but basically you're looking for that number 13, which is perfect for this 1.2 to go in and thread for, you know, when you basically initially make that nut for your rattlesnake and you see it does kind of go in and it's got a little bit of play, which is kind of good. That's what you kind of want. Makes it a little bit easier. And let's see, also you'll need one of these spring loaded, uh, center punches uh, there's a few things that you can get but you don't have to necessarily get one of these we'll go through the process and try to um, get you all squared away that uh, there will be some soldering involved um, a lot of this stuff I've already got a pre prep so you don't have to see the cutting wood I'll go through some of it just to show you as well as like the nails, the nails, there's two types of nails that you're going to be using. Number 19, three quarter inch. You're going to have wire brad as well as wire nails. That's it. And anything else that you see throughout this process that you want to get any type of clarification on, feel free to leave it in the comments. You don't have to talk about, you know, it's a great video or something like that. You don't really have to worry about that. I'm, I'm more or less interested in the questions and comments section itself because 
I want to make sure that everybody can understand what is going on here and able to duplicate it on their own. Um, my goal is to get y'all understanding this and see how it's done so you'll be able to take over and run with it. I had to figure this out, so I'm showing you how to do it. All right. Um, we will go ahead and talk about the downs a little bit. Then we'll end the video here. I think we're pretty much at a good stopping point. Then we'll carry on to the next phase. Uh, let's see. This right here is actually a wire brad nail. Uh, right here is actually one I've actually threaded. And if you look at the head on this one, it's because I've actually took a file, came here on the back side of it. This side is a lot of a thicker head coming on the back side with a file, squared it up, took a file, squared it out, got to where it's a thin lip. Sort of where it looks like it is a wire nail versus a wire brad nail. And what have I got right here with this one? Oh yeah. This is, uh, I think, one right here uh, that I might, oh yeah, this one, I know what's up with that one. All right. Uh, I think that one is the one that I haven't done anything to. Let me look at this underneath the light to make sure I'm not misleading you. Uh, no, this is one I hadn't done anything to. So I gotta find the other one that I've actually uh, worked on. Uh, there's a little bit of a, like a metal piece right here, like a little flange from the roof that connects to the shaft or the shank of the nail uh, during the, the process. So it's like a, a thin little gusset or a little ridge right here that connects these two. Usually what I'll do is I'll put it in my uh, rotary tool, get it to where I can see that part, hold it steady and take a file and smooth that down to where it's good and round right here. So basically that the uh, wafers will sit perfectly on the back side of this uh, this nail head here. Um, that is going to be it for now. Um, I will add more later. Uh, I hope you enjoy.